Thank you, Tony, for the word which you've brought to us this morning. Um, in the same vein, I just want to read from Galatians chapter 3 from verse 26 to 29. For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ's, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. The recent deaths in America of Ahmad Avery, Breonna Taylor and George Floyd are only the most recent in a long line of cases of violence inflicted on people of color and minority people all over the world. At times like this, it's important that we reflect on what God's word says. This scripture from Galatians chapter 3 makes it clear to us all that we are one and that God sees us as one. And that is why my heart breaks and I think it's a call to action for all of us because we need to realize that If we're all one, then an injustice against one person is an injustice against us all. So we, we need to have a mindset that we love our neighbor as we love ourselves, and that because we do that, we will not tolerate acts of racism mm. against anyone. And I believe that is one of the things that we need to take away from this. I don't know what you think about that, Gary. Mm. Thank you, Yemi. Yeah, I think the... I was thinking about this uh, after a couple of weeks ago where we were thinking about Pentecost and the fact that um, after uh, the Holy Spirit came, there were 12 different languages identified. And whether they were Cretan, Romans, Arabs, or the Jews, they, different people understood what was being said. And it just, and it struck me, I think it was driving to work earlier in this week, this week, just how, um, how, you know, God chose to do that. Uh, and he celebrates the diversity. And I think uh, you're, you're right that um, there needs to be for us, um, as um, Yemi and I are both leaders within Hope Church, uh, and how we are, we, we're intentional to um, agree to uh, love one another, honour one another, respect one another for our gifts. And it's not about um, the, the colour of our skin, it's about who we are in Christ. And you know, we have at Hope a, a real emphasis uh, through Regions Beyond, uh, one new man in Christ and how uh, important that is, that we love one another that we um, and again uh, Yemi touched on that if we think of uh, ha think of others and how we'd want to be treated Jesus says to love thy neighbor um, and I guess uh, some of you know I um, we adopted a, a, a young black baby into the family um, many years ago when I was a child so this is 40 years ago uh, and I can remember very distinctly some of the um, comments, we were living in a, uh, a, a, a suburb of London where there were not, not many um, ethnic minorities. There were, it was all, all very new. And, and some of the racist and, and, and despicable comments that were made to us as a family, but particularly my mother, um, has, has never really left me. Uh, and I think, uh, it, and I guess what struck me more recently um, and last year I can recommend a book, um, which is Let's Talk About Race by Ben Lindsay. Uh, and it struck me that it's 
I was the thought, well, I'm not racist, but actually it needs to be more than that. I need to, um, I need to push back against that if I see it or it, I feel it's implied by a, a friend. Um, but most importantly is that we're called to pray um, and that God's heart really that for, um, you know, as Tony was talking about is that our heart breaks for what, uh, what is breaking God's heart. And as we, as we begin to open up and say, God, teach me, reveal things in me that are not, not right. Um, I believe we can, I really believe uh, through the, uh, the different expression that people will see within Hope Church and other churches, we begin to see a difference. Uh, and maybe in our generation, this could be the time. But certainly, um, let's, let's, this is a, a huge thing that's been deeply rooted. But I, I think just to uh, be before God, and I think it's the, the work of the Holy Spirit can do something really exciting. Thank you, Gary, for sharing your perspective. Um, and in addition to what you've said, um, one thing that comes to mind is that Derek Chauvin wasn't born racist. Um, he was born a baby with a blank slate and is only a product of all that he's heard from his parents and from society, which is why it's also important that going forward, we all need to mirror Christ-like behavior mm, yeah. towards the young people, yeah. because that mm. is one of the keys to, mm. um, to end in this. Mm. And um, it's also important that we pray um, about this. I'm just gonna, Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for all that you're doing for us, Lord. We thank you for the amazing things that have been going on in Hope Church. We thank you for the time that we're in as a society. We thank you for all that is happening because we know that you're in it, Lord. We know that all these injustices which are being brought to light have are being a, a light has been shown on them mm. because it's your will and father we ask lord that you will teach us to love our neighbors as we love ourselves and you will teach us lord to be a new man in christ mm. amen amen yeah i thank you thank you jesus that you are uh, you created us um in your image that you have uh Lord, a desire that we live in unity and we love one another as, Lord, you modelled. I just pray for at this time, Lord, against this uh, this exposure, uh, I guess, again, to this deep injustice, Lord, that has been going on for, for well, hundreds of years, Lord, that, Father, I just pray that the, your kingdom will be established, Lord, that, Father, that there will be a, a breaking down of this deep injustice, Lord, that exists. And Father, we as churches, Lord God, as Christians, as leaders, we want to be, uh, Father, in your will, in step with you, Lord, in the things that we do, how we act, how we, we honour one another. But Lord, we're asking your Holy Spirit to come and, and just uh, be uh, invade uh, our culture, uh, Lord, this our church, this country, Lord, globally. We just pray and say thank you, Lord, that you are on the move. We pray, Lord, we pray, in fact, for revival to lord god to come that will change hearts and minds thank you lord jesus thank you. amen amen yeah so just to say as uh, so hope church um what we're going to ask our uh, community groups to do on uh, this week whenever you whatever day that you meet um or you may choose another day is that we uh, all uh, as as community groups across hope that we spend the day uh, in prayer and fasting in wherever we are, whatever we're doing, that we remember to pray against uh, this uh, deep division uh, that that has been ex ex existed below the surface for such a long time. That actually we want to pray for the kingdom of God to be established uh, and this uh, unity that, that Jesus speaks of, this love that Jesus speaks of to, to, to come through. So we'll have a, a day of prayer and fasting, which will be organised by your uh, community group leaders. And then we're encouraging people in the evening, um, maybe, well, probably on Zoom to, to pray together. Amen.